Hey, welcome back to the eDrum Workshop, I'm Luke. The Mimic Pro has just had a new software update and a big library update, and this video is just a quick overview of how to download and install both of these onto your module. You'll need a computer and a USB drive for this process with at least 20 gigabytes of free space on the drive. I would recommend formatting your USB drive in your Mimic Pro module before attempting installation. To do this on your module, go to Settings, sys and hit format usb flash drive if at any point down the line your computer asks if you want to fix this usb drive you can just ignore that the update is in two parts the software update contains new features trigger presets and tweaks and the library update is what will give you the new instruments and kit presets the software update is very quick and simple so let's start there go to the pearl support website there's a link in the description and download the 1.4.18 software update if you you don't see this update swap your location to the united states currently it isn't showing on all locations i'm not sure why alternatively check out the direct links to the files that i'll pin down in the comments this file will come as a zip folder that contains both the software update and the new mimic instrument editor i've got a separate video all about the editor you'll need to unzip or extract this file first and once you have copy just the mimic pro 1418.mup file onto the root of your usb drive don't place this inside any other folder and then safely remove the drive from your computer. Insert the USB drive into your Mimic Pro module and turn it on. Once it's booted up, go to settings, unlock it if necessary, then go to the sys tab and select apply software update. You will see the .mup file listed in the window, make sure it's highlighted and then press apply selected software update. You will be prompted to restart your module, do that and the software update is complete. You can check the software version in the bottom right corner of the sys tab in the settings menu. I've made a separate video about all of the updated features and improvements so go check that out after this if you haven't already. Next to install the new sound library you'll need the new Perl Mimic Pro library updater program. It's a simple program that handles the download and checks the integrity of the files. I'm going to demonstrate this on a Windows PC but I believe that the process on the Mac should be pretty much the same. Once again back to the Perl support site there's a link in the description and you'll find the sound library library update 1.4.18 under the Mimic Pro library tab. Again, if you can't find this, there is a direct link pinned in the comments of this video. This file is an installer, download it and then run the installer and then you can either click to run the library updater right away or it will create a shortcut for you to launch it later. Either way, start the library updater program and it might check that you definitely want to run it, click yes and when it loads, you can click this select download location button in the middle. This is where it will download your Mimic library file too. If you have a very reliable USB stick, you could download it straight to your USB stick's root to save time copying later. But generally, I'd recommend just choosing a location on your computer and then copying it across to your USB drive afterwards. It takes a little bit longer, but it also means that you can keep it on your computer as a backup if required. As I mentioned before, it's nearly 20 gigabytes, so make sure that you've got enough space wherever you download it to. So I've selected a folder on my PC and now I can can just hit start download to begin. Depending on your connection this might take a little while. Once the download finishes hit ok on this window and that's it downloaded. If you downloaded it straight to your USB drive safely remove it and move on to the module installation. If not open the folder that you selected and find the mimicfactory.lib folder and then just copy and paste or drag and drop this entire mimicfactory.lib folder onto your USB drive's root. So that's the top folder not inside any subfolders. It might take a little while to copy over but once it has and you're happy that it's all on there you can safely remove the USB drive and head over to the module. Insert the USB drive into your Mimic Pro module and turn the module on. Once it's booted up go to settings, unlock it if you need to then choose import instrument library from USB stick. On this screen your USB stick is on the left and your Mimic's memory is on the right. Check that your mimicfactory.lib file is showing on the left before you proceed but don't import it yet. First you need to delete the older factory library file from your module. So select that on the right hand pane, then hit the delete button. It will ask you a couple of times to confirm and then the file will disappear. Now go over to the left hand side, select the new library file 
and hit import. The process will start, it took around 10 minutes for me, and once it's finished the file now shows up on the right hand side. You can now press exit, it'll take a moment, and the library is now installed. At this point I would recommend restarting your module. You can find the new instruments in the instrument list alongside the old ones. The 40 new kit presets will be available on your kit list as numbers 66 to 105, but sometimes they don't show up right away which is why I recommended restarting the module before. If you haven't already seen it, go check out my video all about the new Mimic Instrument Editor to find out how to create multi-layer instruments from samples that you own. That video will be up on the screen now, along with my full rundown of the new software and library updates. If you want new kits for your Mimic Pro module, check out my store at theedrumworkshop.com. I'll also have brand new multi-layer instruments up there soon. And above all, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!